Hello, everybody. Combappers, lurkers, everybody else. Say hi to say hi to CJ. Hi. And CJ will say hi to you, uh, Carl. What's the J stand for again? John. Carl John. That's like a Carl John's. Oh, Carl Juniors. Carl's Junior. Oh, that's a restaurant. Never mind. Anyways, uh, Carl is one of our grads uh, and from the high school, uh, and we just want to have a little chat with him today. And usually I get people to give me a Bible verse of the day, but I am giving you the Bible verse of the day, which is Ephesians 2.10. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. And this is in your Bible that where the church is giving to you. That little verse is highlighted in a little spiel I give you at the beginning of, in the beginning pages of your Bible. Um, as a reminder that you are a God's workmanship. Uh, another version says workmanship. This one says handiwork. Another one says work of art. You are the thing that God is shaping into something amazing. And so graduation is cool because you've done something, but it's not the end. <laughs> Can you imagine if everybody at graduation just quit? Actually, I think there's some people that do that. But anyways, uh, this is just another step of God shaping you into the person that he wants you to do. And it says he's shaping you to do good stuff, to do good works which is important that we recognize that God has wants us to be involved in being shaped by him, also used by him as a, as a tool. And you'll read that in the little notes. All right. So okay. thanks for coming along. So now that you've graduated, oh no, wait a minute. Have you actually finished all your classes and everything? Well, I'm still doing a couple more classes. Okay. But so today yeah. is the 19th. Um, and do you have finals? No, we don't have finals. Okay. We have like little... Tests or hand-ins and what you call them. Essays and whatnot. Or yeah, that stuff. Yeah. But no, no finals at all. Okay. And then do they send you your certificate? Because there's not even a ceremony at all, correct? Well, the way they're doing it is they come house by house. And there's a staff member. Oh. Like there's a teacher that comes to your house that specific, specifically chose you, I think. And then they like take a, like a slingshot and shoot your, your diploma through the window? or <laughs> they, they give it at the end of a hockey stick. Or... Oh my, okay then. All right. <laughs> Isn't that so weird? That's just weird, right? I, I mean, I, I actually feel bad for all the grads. I mean, I mean, my opinion, you should have been able to gather outside in the soccer or the football field and, you know, but mm -hmm. again... It's not going to happen. And, and obviously being in a bigger school, you know, that makes a big difference too. If you're in a small school, I think out in the country, I'm sure they can pull something off. But anyways, it's, it's disappointing. But having sat through four of them uh, over the years for my children and other graduates, I, I don't necessarily enjoy sitting through them. But there's a lot of, and there's a lot of rigmarole, a lot of standing around. But that's all right. It's, that's a good way to honor you guys for what you've done. So did, did, did you find it difficult to finish up your courses? Well, at first, yeah, like the class is you're sort of learning on your own, but then again, there's there's teachers that help you. Right. At first, it was like, oh, I'm on on my own. I can do this. And then you start slacking, <laughs> and then and then stuff happens, and you forget about it. Right. Then then you get back on course. Yeah. So, do you, and you know, are you going to get letter grades too? How's that going to work? Like, they might have to give you a letter grade, right? Because it's going to be on your transcript. Well, the way it worked for like all the students in grade twelve is, you either had the chance to graduate with your mark, right, and then just finish right there, and you don't have to do any work. Then the second option was, you can do work, but you won't be assessed, so your mark stays the same. And then the there's a first option where you had you can do the work and still be assessed, but your mark won't, won't go down whether you like it or not. Could your mark go up? Yeah, yeah, it can. But it couldn't go down? No, it can't. So we're, like, you won't get penalized or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So did you have any friends that were like failing and then were going to be able to actually manage to get... <laughs> yeah. Yeah? I, and so, the, okay. I, <laughs> so they... <laughs> I had a couple of friends who were in English and they had below 50, but they managed to get like... I don't know, seventy five percent. Scrape it back up over. Yeah. Well, I just want you to know that this is not this is a horrible life lesson that you've just learned, right? Like, if if you just wait long enough, you can you can always go up, but you can't go down. It doesn't work that way in life. <laughs> but it did for grade twelve. So. <laughs> oh man, that's yeah, that's been crazy, and uh, yeah, and who knows how that's all gonna 
shape out. But I, we're going to honor you guys on Sunday anyways. We're going to give you a Bible on Sunday. And it won't be on the end of a hockey stick. But uh, but we'll give you guys a Bible on Sunday. So that And it's a cool Bible. It's the, oh, I wish I had it because it's really nice. Anyways, so what's, uh, what's the plan for the summer? I know you work at Safeway. And... Yeah, well, the plan was to move to Calgary for... Uh for a research a research center job oh. that I work for the government. Okay. But being with corona and all I probably couldn't do that and like and so I think I'm just going to stay with Safeway. Right. So summer. you actually had a job lined up for the summer in Calgary. Yeah. How would you get that job? Well, when I was working at Safeway there was these custodians. Oh, okay. And her name was Anna. Uh-huh. She used to be a manager there. Okay. And she said if I used her name as a reference and like I would I would probably got the job and I've been I was looking into it. Yeah. And then after I looked into it, that was when the corona stuff oh, happened. Okay. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't look into this anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It All right, but hey, Safeway's a good job, good gig. And then uh, in the fall, that you had some plans too. Is those still intact, or what are the, what's going to happen there? Yeah. So in the fall, I should, I should be moving to Calgary. As okay. Planned, and I'm taking a uni- I'm going to the university for engineering. Which university? State. Uh, um, U of C. U of Calgary. Okay. Mm-hmm. So. And what kind of engineering? Well, right now I was well. I'm planned. What I want to be is a mechanical engineer, okay. but I've been looking into it more and there's like, it gets broader and I have more options to choose. Yeah, that's right. So it could change over time, but right now it's mechanical engineer. Okay. See, there's chemical engineers, structural engineers. Uh, what else? You know, when I lived in the Philippines, if you had an engineering degree, people called you engineer. Like if you had a doctor, like, you know, if you're a doctor, they call you doctor. But in the Philippines, they actually call you engineer. Wow. You didn't so, know that? No, I didn't. So, yeah. So, once you get your engineering degree, I'm just going to call you engineer. Okay. Engineer Soriano. Yeah. I actually lived at a, in, a, in a little dorm. It was like a house with a dorm, but the, the owner of it was engineer um, Hapalia, I think was the last name. But anyway, people always called him, like, just like we would call doctor or reverend, or they would call him engineer. So, that was kind of cool. We should do that in our country. <laughs> now, of course everybody gets off to school and sometimes that things change, but that's, that's sort of the thing. Have you always like enjoyed engineering stuff? Do you have lots of Lego? Yeah. A lot of like <laughs> more like physics and math stuff. Okay. Um, I'm into that more. It's always been like easy technically. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, it came naturally to you. Yeah. And that's why I've been, that's why I chose that cool. career. So you took physics. Was it, is it level three in the grade 12? Is it? Well, in How's you only have one class for grade 12 and it's just physics 30 okay. it just kind of introduces you to right. the mechanics of what's going to happen later on right. and it's cool. not as easy as you think <laughs> no, no no there's a reason why bridges don't and and things don't fall down a lot because engineers are good at what they do it's yeah it's not easy cool and and uh and as you as you continue to work now and as you're waiting for the summer to, are you finding yourself getting bored at all or are you doing okay um sort of bored but not really because uh, i guess since they like kind of took out the restrictions yeah okay and able to hang out with my friends more oh, and good yeah planning stuff for the summer so have you, have you been shooting any hoops yet oh yeah lots oh, okay don't tell anybody though <laughs> Yeah, when I, when I saw a bunch of guys playing basketball at Central School, that is a yes, basketball. I'm sure they were technically breaking some rules, but I thought, you know what, it's time to get back I to think that was, I think I was one of those guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll hunk at you next time. <laughs> but that's good stuff. Well, hey, we appreciate you sharing with us, and congratulations. And, and you don't have the picture out front of your house because you say you don't have that big picture thing that they've been handing I, around, right? I never got it. I don't, I don't, I don't well, even know. Well, it might have been dependent on the fact that you never got your t- picture taken. Oh, maybe. Because everybody's ones I've seen, I've got the picture of the grad that you didn't well, get taken. I do have those pictures. I just didn't order them. Oh, well, that, was, mind you, this, if you did take them, then the school should still have the one for that poster, right? Oh. I don't know I where. I take it, it back. 
So get your, yeah, we want that. So that when they hand you your diploma on a hockey stick, they can have that picture sitting in the background. <laughs> well, we're going to celebrate you anyways. Um, of course, we still have to do it socially, physically distant, but we're going to celebrate you again on Sunday. So well, Sunday morning, we'll hand you your Bible, and then and we'll say congratulations as a congregation. But in the meantime, thanks for sharing with us, and have a good day. Yep, you too. See you, CJ. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.